April's National Financial Literacy Month, and there are big changes ahead for how Wisconsin students learn about money. Brett Lemoyne takes us into the classroom in this month's Fox 6 Cents. Okay, so I'm ready to go. Are you guys ready to go? In Tyler Padol's classroom. I do show my credit report. I show my investment portfolio. He is the lesson. They need to understand where money will come from, how credit cards work, how debt works in their life. Padol is a personal finance teacher at Milwaukee's Bayview High School. I think this is as helpful as it would be for your age as well. He tries to make the course relatable to students by sharing his personal finances with the class. What do they know before they walk through the door? The general knowledge they have, it's, it's great. It's a sponge. They, they want more of it. They ask a lot of questions. Hate the debt. Padol has been teaching this semester-long course for three years. That's around the same time Milwaukee Public Schools made it a requirement for students. It's a really good age because students are just starting to get jobs and learn how to, you know, read their paycheck stubs and do their taxes on their own. That retirement is what you're saving for the future. Marty Diaz is the financial literacy teacher mentor for MPS. They want our students to be able to compete uh, worldwide and in, in their communities. And so this is a, a social justice issue and we want to make sure that our students have what they need to be successful. Start with logging in and go to Money Path. When MPS implemented its personal finance course, Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers said it was one of only 12 urban school districts in the country to put the requirement in place without a state mandate. That changed late last year when Evers signed Wisconsin Act 60 into law. It requires all high school students to take a half-credit personal finance course starting with the class of 2028. He's helped me like see a lot of stuff and helped me learn a lot of stuff. Bayview High School junior Quantavia Stokes has a lot of questions for guest speaker Vincent Wallace Haygood with the group Secure Futures. Wallace Haygood is presenting Ballin' on a Budget to help kids plan for things they want, like new sneakers or phones, and things they need, like an apartment and groceries. It's like very understanding. You can hear from somebody that came from, like, the same city I came from, grew up, like, probably in the same household I grew up in. So just like seeing the sense, something like that, it's probably like inspirational to other kids. Secure Futures finds one in four students nationwide have access to a personal finance course, but the number drops among African American and Latino students to one in 14. It's a very big issue, right? Uh, the wealth gap. And we know that if that isn't closed, that there's going to be uh, disadvantages for the students that we work with. MPS hopes the financial knowledge gained in the classroom is shared when students go home. Diaz encourages them to start a comfortable conversation with parents or guardians about home finances. Talk about what you each know about credit scores and savings. Diaz says students should learn from the mistakes and successes of others in the community. What tips do your parents or local business owners have to help you gain financial empowerment? Padol says that education will stick with you. Yes, writing, math, sciences, the uh, social studies, the, the histories are all really important. But this is going to be your most important class that's going to affect your everyday life. With photojournalist Eddie Poser in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News.